Welcome back to Six Sister Stuff. Today I'm showing you two ways how to make meatloaf. One is gonna be mini meatloafs, the other one's just gonna be a normal meatloaf all inside your Instant Pot. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Kristen and every Monday I share an Instant Pot recipe with you guys. So if you are new to the Instant Pot, this is the channel to follow along. Now, not only is it Monday, it's also Prime Day, woo -hoo! So because it is Prime Day, there are a ton of Instant Pot things on sale right now. So I just wanna share a few of them with you. Now, if you guys want an Instant Pot or want a second Instant Pot, today is the day to buy them. This is the cheapest I have ever seen the Instant Pot. You can get the Duo 7-in-1 for $49.99. That is half off. Down below in the description, I'll put a link there, and I'll also put some other links of other Instant Pots and some Instant Pot accessories. Those always go on sale when the Instant Pots do because there's amazing things you can find that can go inside your Instant Pot for a lot cheaper price. Oh, and I forgot, I wanted to show you one more thing. So this is a Steammates wrap. It's actually a magnet, but you can decorate your Instant Pot with different coverings and I am slightly obsessed with it. So it comes in these cute little containers, all wrapped up, ready to go. They have three or four different colors right now, and they're gonna be coming out with more, especially around the holidays. But love this black and gray and white one. All right, so enough of Prime Deals. I'm gonna show you now how to make some easy, delicious meatloaf. So you'll need ground turkey or ground beef, two eggs, Worcestershire sauce, an onion, ketchup, some old-fashioned oats, a can of tomato soup, and a little bit of brown sugar. That's all you need. Oh, and my awesome covering on my Instant Pot. <laughs> so in a bowl, I put in my ground turkey, or ground beef, and my two eggs. Then I chopped up my onion and put the whole onion in. You could use a half onion too if you want to, but I love onion. Next, you're gonna add a fourth cup of ketchup and half of the can of tomato soup. And then on top of that, you're gonna add one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire, Worcestershire, whatever you grew up calling it, just put it on top. And then the last thing you're gonna add is just one cup of old-fashioned oatmeal. Now I'm using a chopster to mix it all up. You could also use your hands, that way it incorporates it all together. But the chopster is also, that's also on sale for Prime Day, if you were wondering. So now I'm gonna take these egg molds. Now you can get small ones, you can get big ones, they will all work the same. And I love them because you can make little desserts in it. This, uh, now I'm making meatloaf in it. It's just a fun way to switch up your recipes. So once you've filled up your little egg molds, go ahead and cover it with foil. Now with this recipe, I had to use two egg molds, but if you just have one egg mold, you can easily cut this recipe in half. So I am putting foil on both of my egg molds so we're ready to go. Now I'm using the trivet that came with the Instant Pot Duo and putting that in the bottom of my pot. I added about a cup of water into the Instant Pot. Then put both egg molds into the pot on top of the trivet. Now I had a little meatloaf left over so I'm just making my own little pan with some foil. I am not about to waste meatloaf, that stuff is precious. <laughs> At least in my family it is. All right, got my little loaf made. Now I'm gonna put that right in with the rest of the egg mold and the other meatloaf. I'm just gonna squeeze it right in and make sure it's all covered with foil too. All right, it is time to get cooking. So we're gonna put the lid on, make sure that it's turned, of course, so that it's tight. Make sure, turn that little knob to sealing, not venting, and then you can cook this anywhere from 25 to 35. I like to go 35 just to be on the safe side. Now once you set the timer, it's gonna take a few seconds and it's gonna say on. That means you did it right, you can just walk away. All right, so the last few minutes that it's cooking, I'm gonna make the little sauce that goes on top. So I'm gonna use the other half of the tomato soup can. One tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Two tablespoons of brown sugar. And sometimes I'll add just a little squirt of ketchup just to give it a little more. Anyways, okay, you're gonna mix this all together. You don't want any chunks of brown sugar, so make sure it's mixed really well. All right, when it's done, turn your little knob to venting to let it out. Then go ahead and take your lid off and all of your meatloaf should be done. Now I'll warn you right now, it's going to be really 
hot. So please be careful as you're taking things out of your Instant Pot. You do not want to burn yourself. So first I'm taking out the little loaf and then I can grab the handles on the side and just pull out the rest of the meatloaf. Now if you don't have those little handles, wait for it to cool a few minutes before you get in there because it really is steamy hot. So you're going to take your foil off and this is my favorite part because you can just get that whiff, that smell of meatloaf and it is my favorite. I love these little silicone molds because they just make the meatloaf just pop right out. So I took a plate, I flipped it upside down, pushed the little molds a little bit, and the meatloafs just come out so easily. Now I like to add my sauce when the meatloaf is still hot. If it's cooled down a little bit, that's okay. You can even put it on a cookie sheet and broil it for a few minutes, but because the meatloaf is so hot, I don't have to heat up the sauce. The meatloaf will do that for me. And there you have it, little mini meatloafs. Now, if you're wondering how my meatloaf loaf turned out, well, um, my husband beat me to it before I started filming, and it too was cooked all the way through, and he did love it. <laughs> all right, for the second recipe, I'm gonna show you how to make meatloaf and mashed potatoes at the same time. So you're gonna be using the same recipe that I used in the mini meatloafs, and we're just doing things a little different. So my potatoes are going on the very bottom of my pot, and I have about, ooh, 10 small ones, or you can do six or seven large ones. So I have two different kinds, just because I had different potatoes in my house, just using the rest of them. Then I'm gonna put my little rack right over top. If you don't have a rack, that's okay. You could put it, your pan right on top of the potatoes, but the rack seems to help it a little more. So these are the Ecovana pans that I use. I'll put a link in the description. They are amazing, I use them all the time. Now you wanna make sure that it's just below the fill line so your lid will actually go on. So now that I all my meat mixture is ready, I'm gonna pour it right in to my Ecovana pan. Now if I would film this again, I would add my meatloaf on the outside of the pot just in case it did fall down the sides. I don't want it touching my potatoes, but thankfully it didn't fall apart and it stayed all into that pan. So now I'm just spreading it out even so it will cook evenly. All right, now that that's ready to go, I'm gonna take the rest of my tomato soup and I used way too much. I should have done half of it, but that's okay. I'm gonna add a little ketchup to make up for my tomato sauce. Then you're gonna do another tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce and then one tablespoon of brown sugar. Now the recipe calls for two tablespoons, but I just like one tablespoon. I don't like it as sweet. So now you're just gonna mix this up really, really good and you're going to pour it right on top of your meatloaf. And go ahead and spread it around just as evenly as you possibly can get it. Now you don't wanna skip this step because the sauce on top makes it taste so good. So now it is time to cook the meatloaf. So I'm gonna put my lid, the Ecovana lid on first, and then I'm going to put my Instant Pot lid on. So after you put it on, make sure it's sealed tight. You want the knob turned to sealing, not venting, and I'm gonna cook it on manual. Now in the Ecovana, Ecovana pot, you can do it for 25 minutes. If you're doing a loaf pan or something bigger so it's thicker, you want 30 minutes. All right, when it's done, so the L will appear, meaning it's going to start counting up. Um, I did a quick release, so that means I turned my knob quickly so I could get all the pressure out, and I'm gonna take my lid right off. Now, I wish you could be here to smell this because it smells so good. So I always do the check. I'm checking in the middle of my meatloaf, make sure it's all cooked through. If it's not, go ahead and put it back into your Instant Pot and do it for as many minutes as you think. It could be two minutes, it could be 10 minutes. It really depends on how thick your meatloaf is and even what kind of meat you have. So my potatoes on the bottom, don't forget about those, those are done now too. So I took my metal rack out. I'm just gonna drain the water out so I can put the liquid in I want to add. So I'm adding three tablespoons of butter and then about four tablespoons or so of milk. I'm just guessing here. And then I just like to add a little bit of salt and pepper and go ahead and smash it. Now my potato masher was being used by my daughter so I'm doing my chop and stir utensil, which worked just as good. All right, my potatoes are done. You can use beaters to make these even creamier, but I like them thick. All right, I hope you really like my Instant Pot meatloaf and mashed potatoes 
Now don't worry, I have two printable recipes of these for you. One is the Instant Pot version, the other one is the oven versions. Now if you haven't joined my Instant Pot Recipes Facebook group, you should do that. I'm going to put a link in the description for you. If you ever have questions or comments or concerns or even just favorite recipes you want to share, that group is the perfect place to share those things. All right, you guys, thanks so much for joining me today on Instant Pot Monday. I'll see you next Monday. See ya.